UNC is getting set to take on Oregon tonight in the Holiday Bowl in San Diego with the Tar Heels. They're going to be without several key players and coaches. But Pat Welcher joins us live from Petco Park to talk about the one who stayed. And Pat, what's the latest? Chris, we can finally put those Drake May transfer rumors to rest. He is staying with UNC, and a few years ago, this probably wouldn't have even been a story, but in the new world of NIL, anything is possible, and as his parents told me last night, it's the wild, wild west out there, but for them and for Drake, leaving just never felt right. NC State bringing pressure, May in trouble, steps up, takes off. In a college football world where everyone seems to leave, Drake May is one who stayed. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a Carolina kid. You know, it means something wearing that Carolina blue. To understand why, all you have to do is look in the crowd. I know people talk about their school is like a family, like their program is like a family, but it really is at Carolina. Drake's parents met at Carolina. His dad, Mark, was the Tar Heels starting quarterback in 1986 and 87. His mom, Aime, was a star basketball player in high school. He's very fortunate in, in that, I guess, that he didn't, you know, get a lot of my jeans. He got more of Aime's, oh, yeah. I guess. Then there's his older brothers. Luke, I think you wore a Tyler Hansburg, you know, shirt, like, you know, probably 100 days one of his elementary years. Luke May won a national championship at Carolina in 2017. Bo is on the team now. Cole is the outlier, a former pitcher at the University of Florida. Drake, when he's probably four, he would hang around when his older brothers had friends over, wanting to get in the game and play. And as soon as he did, he would act like he belonged there. May, pressure coming, going to turn, throw toward Green! Touchdown, Carolina! But with all the success comes suitors. Drake got offered a lot of money to, to go to different schools and it's it's tampering. Drake told ESPN that reports of $5 million NIL offers to transfer were rumors and that nothing was directly offered to him and his family. His parents echoed the same. Drake never entered the portal. So we don't really even know, you know, what was out there. Sure. To be honest with you, Pat. There was obviously rumors, but we all we heard was like from friends of ours, oh, I heard this. It was never any concrete thing from any specific source. This Carolina kid is staying in Carolina blue. He's a special young guy that uh, loves his school. And just to give you an idea of how much college football has changed, Mac Brown consulted Drake May on their offensive coordinator hire, Chip Lindsey. And Mark told me that last night he got to meet with Chip at the team hotel. He said that Drake is really excited to get to work with him.